If you're considering selling your property to a cash buyer, listen to this video. All right, look, uh, I'm going to quickly go over the benefits and the setbacks of working with one and, and what you should do in order to consider alternatives. All right, so here we go. Look, the biggest benefit of working with a cash buyer is that it's quick and simple, right? For the most part, as long as title is clean, uh, you know, you're going to close the deal. And even if the title is not clean, if, there's, you know, if things are manageable, a cash buyer, you know, will make you an offer, you take it, boom, we're done. Quick and simple. That's the benefit. Let's now the, the setback, money. Okay, look, let me tell you something. I can assure you that once everything is said and done, you're going to be walking away with anywhere between 60 and 80 cents on the dollar. Let me say that again. Once everything is said and done with a cash buyer, you're going to walk away with anywhere between 60 and 80 cents on the dollar. Okay. And why is that? Because listen, you know, cash buyers, you know, I, I definitely don't want to come across like I'm painting a bad picture of cash buyers because they do serve a pair purpose. Okay. But at the end of the day, they're, 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 you know, their business is to make money just like any other business. Right. And how do they make money by buying your property at this price and then turning around and selling it at this price? It's the nature of the beast, right? They need a margin in order to make a profit. And how do they accomplish that? By you, the homeowner, taking a hit on the price of your property. All right. So this is my suggestion. All right. If you're going to get an offer from a cash buyer, get it in writing. Okay. But don't just get the top price. Get a breakdown of all the fees so that way you know what, how much you're walking away with. Because at the end of the day, that's what really matters. All right. And then compare. All right. You can contact me if you have a relationship with a realtor, contact, you know, contact the realtor and get the numbers, get the numbers of how much you can sell it in the open market and then how much you can walk away, walk away with. All right. And, and I say this because, look, another thing that you need to take into account is market conditions. All right. Look, for the past 10, 10, 15 years, whatever, 10, 12 years, we've been in a strong, strong seller's market. All right where if you price your property right you will sell at a reasonable price and you will sell quickly that is very 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 it puts you in a very competitive situation compared to having to accept a cash offer all right and yes i'm a realtor am i being biased i might like probably swaying you to like hey listen to me because i'm a realtor and, and perhaps with the possibility of listing your property for sale Yes, I am. I am a realtor, but I'm also saying the truth. I'm also saying the truth because I see this every day. I see this. Yeah, obviously, I, I, you know, I have a lot of clients, you know, throughout the year that contact me. Hey, I have this cash offer. They're offering me this amount. What do you think? Nine times out of 10. And I would I'll probably even say 10 cents out of 10. You're able to do better in the open market. All right. If you have any questions about this video, depending on where you're watching, contact me. It's either above, below this video. Have a great week. Bye.